Hey team, this is a warm up video, okay? Most important thing with warm ups is you don't want a static stretch. You don't want to hold a stretch at a fixed point, okay? Because that's really going to be micro tearing your muscle. It's actually going to make you uh, less strong um, and have less endurance as you're training. So, what you want to do is we want to move your joints to a range of motion for a warm up and then save that static stretching for a cool down. So, number one, I like to warm up my shoulders. First things first, I like to do some horizontal swings, just hands over top of each other. 10 to 20 backwards and forwards. It's really warming up your chest and your shoulders here. And after you've done 10 of those, switch to vertical swings. Now you can go same time, or you can alternate like this. Same thing, warming up our shoulder girdle, getting all those muscles ready for some work. Now after you do 10 each direction, horizontal and vertical, you can do some circles. So I like to do 10 to 20 circles forwards. Nice rotation through the shoulders making sure it's all greased up and then reversing the direction 10 to 20 circles as well okay after you do those three movements your shoulders you'll feel a little bit of a burn in there but it's not going to be fatiguing you and after about a minute that'll go away and then you'll be ready to really do some stuff like uh, some bench pressing or some strong punching okay now that's our shoulders done what we also want to do is our hips shoulders and hips are the two most important things with athletic performance so with our hips you want to do the same thing each leg you want to swing forwards and backwards 10 times if you struggle with balance, hold on to something, okay? 10 to 20 times forwards and backwards. The most important thing is, make sure your hip joint stays in the one spot. Don't tip forwards and backwards like this, okay? Just stay straight forwards and backwards here 10 times. And then you're gonna do the side as well. So you're gonna come out to the side and in. This one again, balancing, so holding on to something if you need to, bringing the leg up and in. And bring it past your other leg somewhat, okay? So it's warming up the hip joint in two planes of motion there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do something called open and closing the gate. Okay, so we're going to bring our knee up, rotate it out, down. That's opening the gate, and then knee up, rotate, and in. Do that one five to ten times per side. That's a really fantastic way to warm up your hip joint as well. Now, you can also warm up your wrists and your ankles if you want to. They're secondary, not as important, but if you're doing anything like kickboxing, you need your ankles and your wrists to be really pliable. So again, you can do some rotations with your wrists, and you can also do some rotations with your ankles. So just going 10 each direction there. Lastly, if you want to warm up your spine and your neck, that's fantastic as well. Just do 10 no's backwards and forwards, and then do 10 yeses, chin to the sky, chin to your chest, okay? That's moving all your joints to a really good range of motion. That's gonna be a fantastic warm up before you get into any resistance training or into any martial arts training.